I want to preface what I'm about to play by saying that uh, there are liberals in both major parties, Democrat and Republican, and liberals are lying crooks. Doesn't matter whether they're a Democrat or Republican, liberals are lying crooks. And I keep demonstrating it week after week, but a lot of people won't pay attention. So we're going to keep demonstrating it. What you're about to hear is the real answer for why this whole impeachment thing against Trump is a crock. They're trying to take down Trump because he's a friend to Christians. They're trying to take down Trump because he's hurting the abortion industry. They're trying to take down Trump because he's packing the courts with constitutionalists. They're trying to take down Trump because he's not bending over for the sodomites. And I could go on and on. But what this next fellow, his name's Buck, Congressman Buck from Colorado, is about to say is what I've repeated over and over that for the past few weeks. If you look at the Democrat presidents just since FDR, they would all be impeached if we held the standard that they're using against Trump, and they would be impeached for much more serious crimes or wrongdoing, if you will. So I just wanted, had to put that out there. I want you to listen. And again, I know some of you don't care, then turn it off. But God has called us to be vigilant for the truth. And if America dies, it's one country that'll die because its people are lazy and stupid. But if you will learn and you'll watch what's going on, you can make a difference if by no other means than by praying and praying with knowledge and informing your loved ones and folks in your church and that sort of thing. What's going on with this Democrat Party? It is an anti-American, anti-Christ political party. There are liberals in the Republican Party, but it isn't wholly given over. The Democrat Party is completely given over to the socialists and the sodomites. Fact. But the important thing I want you to hear is why this is a scam. What's going on in the impeachment of President Trump? It's back. Gentleman from Georgia. Thank you, Madam Speaker. At this time, I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Colorado, member of the Judiciary Committee, Mr. Buck. Gentleman's recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank the gentleman from Georgia. Today, Democrats lower the bar for impeachment. Under the standard, a president can be impeached in the absence of a crime, without due process, and for or asserting a legally, constitutionally recognized privilege. History shows Democrat presidents have abused power to undermine democracy and win elections, and yet they have not been impeached. President Franklin Roosevelt used the IRS to target his political opponents. His son later admitted FDR used, quote, the IRS as a weapon of political retribution. President John F. Kennedy used the FBI to wiretap and monitor political opponents, including congressional staff. He deported one of his mistresses to avoid scandal. President Lyndon Johnson spied on Goldwater's campaign, signing off on wiretapping his opponent and Goldwater's airplane, and using a CIA spy to obtain advanced copies of Goldwater's strategies and speeches. President Barack Obama refused to provide documents to Congress related to Fast and Furious. His unconstitutional recess appointments were unanimously struck down by the Supreme Court. He used national security agencies to lie to the American people about Benghazi to win the 2012 election. He spied on reporters. Finally, it was the Obama administration that committed 17 serious violations before the FISA court to spy on Trump campaign associates. Despite these clear abuses of power by FDR, JFK, LBJ, and Obama, Republicans did not impeach. Why? Because the framers did not want a low bar for impeachment. They wanted Congress and the president to work out their differences. When I asked Professor Turley in a Judiciary Committee hearing if any president could avoid impeachment with this low standard, he said no. I yield back. There you go. If you didn't get that, go back and listen to it again. FDR, JFK, Clinton, Obama, and Carter. Crooks. L LBJ was a crook. All of them crooks and liars. And yet the Republicans didn't try to impeach them because they held the impeachment process to be something 
to remove a president when there was a serious threat. What Trump has done is not a serious threat because it's not a threat at all. The only thing Trump was threatening was Joe Biden's rear end and his son and making the Democrats look bad because they're corrupt. And why is this important? I believe we have a role as Christians to stem the tide of this Antichrist party until the Antichrist shows up and then they can have it. But until that Antichrist shows up, if America falls, it will likely be due to the laziness and ignorance of professing Christians. And all I can say is I'm trying my best to see that that doesn't happen. Not on my watch.